I want to show you in this video how you can customize literally anything on your website using developer tools. To open developer tools on your browser, press F12 on your keyboard. I use Firefox and this is how developer tools look like on this particular browser. If you use Chrome or any other major browser, don't worry, it should look pretty similar to this so you can follow along. Uh, the only option I'm going to use this time is called Inspector or Inspect Element tool. And what this tool allows me is to select any element on the page. And as soon as I do that, I can see the CSS of that element right here uh, in this right column here. Let me show you how this works on an example. If I would like, for example, to change the color of these arrows here, I'm going to click on this element where the arrows are. Perhaps you can tell one additional problem here is that when I clicked this, I'm not sure what did I select exactly because there are uh, multiple elements here close one to each another. Uh, I have a text here, the whole box and these arrows. So I can't exactly click the arrows. It, it selects the whole box. If you go to HTML here, you can uh, toggle the selected element in addition. You can tell that you can do that uh, if it has this arrow here that indicates that you can toggle that particular element that you just selected. So if I toggle the title that I selected, I can see the text and also after. After is a pseudo element. If you don't know what pseudo elements are, that's okay. Uh, but still you can click on it and as you can see if I click now on this after pseudo element it exactly selects the arrows and that's what we are looking for. Now I have the CSS for these arrows here and one thing in addition that's really great is that it tells you the file name where this CSS is and also the exact line in that file where this CSS block is located. However, we don't want to go to this file and make our changes there because all those changes may be lost with each plugin update. Instead, we want to copy this CSS and paste it on our website. An ideal place to do that is DV Theme Options Custom CSS. So let's paste our CSS here. Before saving, a couple of things I want to do. Uh, you can get rid of anything that you don't need to override. We, we only want to change color this time. Uh, let's change it to red, for example. And if I say this right now, on our page there are going to be two identical CSS blocks and the website won't be able to tell which one should it use, should it uh, display to your visitors. To make sure that your custom CSS overrides the default one, add additional CSS selector, like this. Once again, if you are not sure what CSS selectors are and what does body stands for exactly, that's completely fine this time. Uh, you can just use this simple trick for any CSS block that you customize, just add body in front of the rest of the CSS and you should be good. Uh, now I'm going to save this and when I reload the page, the arrows should turn red. Before ending this video, I want to show you another thing. Uh, if you select an element, let's for example select this title, I'm also given the CSS as expected here. However, instead the file name, it says inline. Whenever you see inline, that means that all this CSS is set in module settings. So you don't want to copy this CSS and paste it on your website. You don't have to dig any CSS files. All you have to do is to go to module settings and you will find all these settings there. 
So once again, if you see inline, don't copy any CSS, instead go to module settings and make your changes there. If you see a file name here, then you can copy the CSS, paste it on your website and make your changes there. That's it for this video, hope that helps.